If you responded to a Craigslist ad and advertised that you could make twenty to thirty thousand dollars per month, how many scenes does one have to shoot to earn that kind of money? I think uh, anywhere be t well without an agent, ten to twenty a month, and then with an agent, which pretty much every girl has to have an agent in the industry, it's thirteen to twenty-seven since they take a percentage. Wow. So you pretty much have to shoot like almost every day. Wow. What what does that do to your body? And 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 Jessica, one of the things that I wanted to do here today was help my, my, my listeners, the people and my clients to 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 empathize and to connect with there's a human being on the other side of the camera and the work that they're doing and the acts that they're performing which are becoming as you know and you participated in increasingly more and more aggressive what impact did shooting 20 30 scenes in a month have on your body what did you feel like not good I was not healthy which is why I'm so adamant about living a healthy lifestyle and and putting goodness into your body now um, because I I was constantly going to urgent care I went to urgent I had to be taken to urgent care I think more than 10 times and then the actual emergency room I had to go there twice I was constantly getting sick with strep throat mono getting the flu like I was constantly getting sick and also you know uh, with infections down there like bacterial vaginosis, urinary tract infections, yeast infections and then eventually towards the end of my career I caught herpes um, but yeah I was constantly getting sick and not just that because of the types of scenes that I was doing I couldn't eat I was not allowed to eat and so I would go days without eating and just really munch on on gummy bears and energy drinks just so I could get through my scenes so I wasn't healthy at all and, and the reason for that we call a spade a spade I like to keep it real blunt is because you were performing and, and may have become known for your anal sex scenes is that is that why you weren't eating yes that must take a terrible <laughs> toll on your body in fact you were injured can you talk a little bit about um, you know this was towards the end of your career when you realized you were getting out. Can you share that story um, with with us please? Yeah, um, well so basically I had already decided to quit. I had already gone to my agent and said hey listen I don't want to do porn anymore. Don't book me for anything else but I will be respectful and finish out the scenes that is that are already booked. So this, the day that I got injured was one of the scenes that was already booked, even after I had already decided to quit. And uh, I was working with another girl uh, who was fairly new, and um, she brought her own toys, um, and one of them that she used on me was actually a glass rippled toy, and it was really big. <laughs> so I thought she, she was going to be kind of gentle and like I thought she knew what she was doing since it was her toy but no she literally just rammed it in there and started pounding on me as hard as she could with barely any like lube or spit or anything like that so when I I didn't I didn't allow this to happen for very long because it was so painful so I screamed and I sorry I I'm acting it out <laughs> but um I like I turned around and when I look on the bed, it's covered in blood. And I, I got really freaked out because I, I'm terrified of blood. And so I went into the bathroom to clean myself up. And it was still, I was still bleeding. And I was still bleeding a, a few days after that, too. And um, it, was, it was weird because the agents were they like wanted me to finish out the scene even though I was injured and everything and then even a few days after that my agent was texting me asking me if I could go and finish the scene like I was like are you kidding me like I need a few like at least two weeks to heal so that's when I realized you know they don't give a shit 
about uh, about us performers. They do not like see us as human beings, which is absolutely ridiculous. So no health insurance out of your pocket, right? I mean, there's, you don't have a medical plan with this industry, despite the incredible risks that the actresses are taking. Yeah, yeah, no. Every I paid for everything. Wow, 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 wow. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still paying bills, actually. I'm still paying medical bills from, from when I was doing porn. Wow, that must be pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. Just, just kind of that reminder, you know? Yeah. 